Graham Hazelwood had to relocate after his bit of the woods was bulldozed to make new houses. He now has to sign on at the Animal Job Centre. Mr Hazelwood. Graham's advisor explains the Animal Job Seekers Agreement and then begins an assessment of Graham's particular set of skills and abilities. Right, so let's put nut processing and running nearly all the way across the road before running back the other way. Now that a customised job search profile has been generated, Graham's advisor can instantly access the Animal Job Centre's vast databank to provide a list of suitable vacancies. And we have... 25 matches. Graham is optimistic. First up we have Badger Wanted in Eastbourne. Several vacancies have arisen due to the proximity to a busy road. Must have stripy face and beady eyes. Previous hole digging experience is preferred but not essential as full training will be given. How does that sound? Um, well, I mean, I'm a squirrel. How's about this one? Small irritating dog required to bark incessantly in an enclosed back garden full of weeds and disused bicycles. This is a permanent living position. All meals are provided. No? OK. Horse needed to stand in a muddy field and look sad. A long face and swishy tail are essential. Well, you've got a swishy tail. I'm putting that down as a possible. Um, no, look. Sorry, but I was looking for something a bit more squirrel-based. Because I'm a fucking squirrel. Mr Hazelwood, this is a very sophisticated job searching resource, developed at considerable cost to benefit the likes of you. Now then, what's next? Brighton and Hove City Council are looking to appoint seagulls to a variety of posts in and around Brighton and Hove. Applications are invited from candidates with a proven background in ripping open bin bags, shitting on cars and dive bombing tourists when they've just bought a tray of chips. Successful applicants will take their place in a dynamic interdisciplinary environment liaising with our team of pigeons and tramps. Mr Hazelwood? Fuck it.